Okay, and it's all uh, all set and live. Okay, great. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, before I turn it over to our chair to start the meeting, I'm just going to do roll call. Uh, please let me know if I don't call your name. I have Jackie Pemberton, Ray Beauregard, Russell Bennett, Glenn Mackey, Andre Pominville, Tara Redpath, Norman Riopol, Terence Sauvé, Bill Smurl, Francois Saint Amour, Doug Thompson, and Elizabeth Holmes. And Michelle Kearney is just coming into the meeting now. Rhonda, I'd like to let you know that um, Adrian called me and is unable to attend this morning. Okay. We do have one project for well decommissioning that uh, uh, he is up. He did provide me the information. Okay, perfect. All right, Madam Chair, we're good to start. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for taking this time on this beautiful September day to uh, Zoom call. Um, hopefully, everybody's enjoying the comfort of their office or their home and all is well. So we'll get started on today's agenda. Thank you. So I'm looking for an approval of the agenda and supplemental. Supplemental. Oh, I have a, an amendment, Madam Chair. There's two. Okay. There's, I can hear my monitors are in the wrong order. I muted Laurie because you guys are in the same room, so it's feeding back. Um, so on page 33, we did have a project in twice. Um, so we did send around a handout. So there is an amendment. I'm just trying to get my slide deck to advance here. Um, so we need to replace page 33 with the um, handout. Okay. So I would look for an approval of the agenda and supplemental, if any, uh, with amendment uh, uh, of page 33. I so move, Glenn Mackey. Thank you, Glenn. I'll second, second it, Russell. Russell, okay. thank you. One, one moment, Madam Chair, I have a second amendment. Which oh, one is sorry. it? I jumped ahead of you. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. The 30th? Oh, sorry. The um, meeting, the next meeting date is November 30th. There's an error there instead of the 26th. <clears throat> All right, so Glenn and Russell, are you okay <clears throat> with that second amendment to move? Yes. Oh, unison, thank you. <laughs> Anyone opposed? Hearing none, carried. So item number three is a declaration of conflict of interest. Is there any declarations? Hearing none, we'll move forward. Item number four is a request for approval. And this is the Clean Water Committee meeting minutes June 8th, 2020. Hopefully everybody had an opportunity to review those minutes. So I'd be looking for a mover and a seconder. I see Francois saint Amour's hand up to move. Francois, thank you. Second. Uh, Andre. Name, please. That was Andre. Andre. Yes. Thank you. Anyone opposed? Any errors or admissions? Hearing none, carried. On to item number five, business arising from minutes. So we're looking at item number A, the divert, deferred applications. I just need to swap the slide next. Let me. Okay, so just before we start on the deferred projects, I just wanted to recap. Um, we have some projects in June and we have a couple more coming up on this meeting's agenda from um, Castleman area. So there's again a subdivision where we're getting multiple applications uh, in. Uh, we reviewed three projects at the June meeting, two are on the waiting list. Um, one project, which is our first up um, under AI, uh, 
was uh, deferred. Um, the committee had asked if there was a way that we could uh, group these projects together and deal with sort of a community type approach. Um, I've reviewed the applications that we uh, went over in June as well as the ones that are coming in today. Um, all of the sites are slightly different, all have varying degrees of erosion and each of the landowners are using different contractors and some are choosing to do the work themselves. So it was difficult to try and find a common ground where we could do sort of a group or community type project. Um, as you'll see from the ratings from the June meeting, and I'm sure you'll see from the ratings today, um, the varying degrees of erosion um, are setting some projects as a higher priority than others. So what we've been doing with all of the projects that are coming in from that councilman area is we're providing some information on the project that was approved and completed in 2019. So I, again, I mentioned this project back at the June meeting. We did have a landowner that had um, a buffer and erosion project, and that's what I'm showing on your screen. Uh, there's uh, the plan view, so there's a buffer as well as some riprap and, and uh, stabilization of the shoreline. In the bottom right is a picture that Andre grabbed for us this year of the completed project. So we've been using this conceptual design sort of as a guiding point for landowners uh, in that subdivision area as the type of project that the committee has uh, deemed a higher priority and uh, one that has received funding um, from, from the Clean Water Program. And a lot of it has to do with the extended buffer uh, that was incorporated into the project. So as you can see on the one that was approved in June 2019, there is a 15 meter buffer. Uh, it's a mix of shrubs and a fescue metal and grass. Uh, uh, it, so that's much larger than our required three meter uh, minimum buffer. So the information we've been providing to landowners uh, from the subdivision area that are applying is this is the type of project that's considered a high priority by the committee. Um, one of the projects that's coming back today, um, which we'll see next, it does have a 14 meter buffer, so it does mirror closely what was approved um, last year. And uh, the two projects that are on the uh, waiting list do not have this uh, extensive of a buffer and um, rated lower when we did the scoring uh, last meeting. So based on that, I'm going to recommend that we continue to use our rating system as our guiding principle. It is uh, working effectively in identifying the projects that are a higher priority in this area. So I just wanted to give that recap uh, before we get into the first deferred project. And again, you'll see three more from this area come up later in the agenda, Madam Chair. Okay. Is there any question of Rhonda in regard to this, uh, her, her discussion or explanation of the deferred projects? A reminder? Seeing none, we'll move forward, Rhonda. Okay, so Renee is up first, and again, this is the project. It was scored, um, so you will see the rating sheet in a moment. So we did score it last um, meeting. We just deferred it to have that discussion on whether or not we were going to group projects. So I'll turn it over to Renee to give us a recap. So yes, good morning, everyone. I can see you, but you can't see me. I visited this landowner's um, about a month ago, and they are willing to put in a 14 meter buffer strip. There is a drop of almost five feet from the top of the lawn down to the uh, South Nation River. And what they've said is, and what Rhonda has said is the way it, it is. They are not cutting the grass in the last 14 meters, it's just growing up naturally. Okay. And up on your screen is a copy of their um, layout of the project. And as you can see, there is a 14 meter buffer indicated, as Renee mentioned. Rhonda, I am not seeing a shared screen. Okay, give me one second. Am I the only one? Uh, Laura's showing up on your shared screen. The, is the uh, rating system up on your Okay. Second here. I don't see it. Try sharing again. Still just seeing everybody's wonderful faces. Just need to find the right one. I've got multiple screens. Let me go to your screen. Three. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. Okay. Right. okay. <laughs> having, my mouse doesn't want to go to that screen, so I'm having a bit of challenge navigating this morning. All right, so um, again, we did rate this project um, at the last meeting with a score of 21.6. Um, so we can uh, leave that scoring stand unless the committee wants to revisit. Is there a feeling to revisit this scoring? Or are we all comfortable with what we've scored previously? Seeing no one raise hands or comments, we'll keep the scoring as is. Thank you, Rhonda. So um, this next project is on Dre, page 15 in your um, agenda. Andre muted. Seeing him on. We might have lost Andre. We just need him to log back in so we can go on to the next project. And this is Brant covering this project for us. Brent, you're muted. There, can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Hi. Okay, so you're looking. Just a quick update on this one. Uh, so this is a site near Avonmore on Payne Municipal Drain, Payne River Municipal Drain, where there was some erosion issues. Uh, the update is the landowner is uh, willing to put in, uh, I believe it was $5,000 towards the completion of this project. Uh, the original application at the last meeting did not have that uh, detail provided. So our uh, rating may have, might have been impacted by that uh, fact. And again, this is a municipal drain in Avonmore. Um, and there's information in your package uh, from the landowner indicating that there is um, the question the committee had was around the assessment and if um, the landowner was contributing and also if um, if under the drainage act others along the drain were being um, assessed the cost as you can see on page 17 the email confirming that this is the case so this one we did not rate at the last meeting, so we will need to go around and rate. So again, I will call your number um, as we go through. Um, I see Francois has your hand up. Go ahead, Francois, uh, before we start. Okay, thank you. Can you go back uh, one slide there? I want to see the stream bank, uh, I mean the the drain bank. It's over there. Oops. All right. Uh, how far is he staying away from the municipal drain? when cropping because I, I I see uh, don't see much of a buffer there he might be causing his own problem there yes so he will be required to maintain a minimum three meter uh, buffer under the erosion grant and he has agreed to do so and Brent do, did we have any additional information on setback yeah, so I uh, just give a little more detail on that. I was on site with the drain superintendent for North Stormont and we discussed uh, the issue here and that's what he originally identified uh, what I would say correctly is the issue is cropping too close to the stream. Uh, so the farmer has agreed for uh, cropping a little further back in, in incorporating the three meter buffer and then in low areas along this uh, water course where you can see that the sheet runoff from the field is entering the creek. He's also agreed to um, widen the buffer in those areas to almost create grass uh, or hay swales through those areas to reduce the erosion on the banks. So a uh, three meter buffer and then areas where there's uh, rills and gullies forming, he's going to um, going out much further from the drain uh, in grass buffer. All right, uh, my suggestion would be uh... Let's try that and see if it stops the erosion, or is it too late? Uh, be, that's what I should have done. 
primarily before asking grants. Yes, so this one was coordinated through the drainage superintendent. So the intent is to stabilize and then have that buffer in place and that we shouldn't see, <clears throat> excuse me, the erosion that uh, is appearing on screen. Okay, did the superintendent say there was a, a block drainage ditch? Uh, no, there were no blocks identified that was uh, leading to this. Um, so it looks like it was primarily uh, just cropping too close to the top of the stream. All right. Okay. Thank you. I see Terence uh, has his hand up. Mm -hmm. Yes, thanks, uh, Rhonda and Madam Chair. Um, so I missed a little bit about uh, the, the drainage maintenance part of it. Uh, do we know if it's going to be maintained um, by uh, somebody that took the agricultural tile course or the ag erosion course? Or it's the farmer that wants to do it? Because, uh, yeah, if he wants to do it, is he's going to be liable for maintaining it at his own cost and uh, if it doesn't work. I'm just trying to reassure uh, Mr. St. Amel's uh, concern here that uh, you know, two, three years down the line, we don't have a repeat and another, uh, you know, ask for more money situation if the person didn't do the, the thing the right way. Because um, we have train, uh, you know, courses and uh, licensed uh, contractors to do ag, ag erosion control structures. Just trying to squeeze it in, in there. So the drainage superintendent is overseeing the work. Um, Brent, did he mention contractor to you? It would be it would be done through the municipality tunnels. Oh, okay, perfect. That's yes, good. it's a municipal drain, so it will be coordinated through the drainage super. That's right. So it's add, add on. Sorry, just to add on that uh, the drainage superintendent, like you said, Rhonda, uh, and a local contractor doing the work under the drainage superintendent's uh, oversight. Uh, so maintenance will be done through this section on the drain, as well as a little bit upstream and downstream. Uh, for clean out purposes as well. Okay, well, I guess if we're going to give some money, Brent, is it okay if we check with the contractor if he took the ag erosion control course? Uh, yeah, that could be something we can figure out. Okay. Perfect. And you can, you could, if, if we do line up funding, it, it could be a condition of approval as well. Sure. Yeah. Um, you have to pass a motion though on this one. Uh, we do need to rate it. Okay, <laughs> let's rate first. One, one question. Sure, go ahead. Uh, is this uh, municipal drain to be cleaned out now, or has it recently been cleaned out? What's the uh, or what's the uh, situation there? So the timeline for that, uh, I, it might actually already be done. The maintenance. So this one was originally brought forward in the spring. Uh, the project or the drain here was going to be cleaned out regardless of funding. Uh, from the Clean Water Committee, uh, so for maintenance purposes, uh, and the landowner's uh, application is primarily for establishing the buffers next to the drain. So the work may already be completed. I'm not 100% sure on that in terms of the drain maintenance. So it's a project, project that's in progress right now. Sorry, the project's in progress right now? Okay, well, there's our answer. So it's being completed right no, now. No, no, I'm asking. That's a question. That's not an answer. That's a question. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Uh, it may be going right now. It may already be done. I know it was scheduled to be completed this fall, regardless of uh, funding from the Clean Water Committee. Okay. So just a reminder, um, I think what we'll do is we'll go through and rate this project. And uh, just a reminder that we can uh, put uh, further conditions uh, if it's occurring and is approved. Um, we have that option as well. Okay, so again, uh, by email, I sent around your number for voting. So again, I'm going to call you or your number one at a time. Uh, please wait for me to call your number just so that you don't get ahead of me. So uh, number two. Three. Number three. Three. Five. Four. Uh, Rhonda, can you yes. remind me my number, Francois? Uh, you are 19. Same here, Terrence. Am I still 17? Yes, you are. 
Thank okay, you. Okay, so I'm just looking. I'm missing this person. Give me a second. Um, number eight. Two. Eleven. Three. Thirteen. Oh, three. Uh, Rhonda, perhaps you can remind what the score rating is out of. Oh yes, it's out of um, five, right? It's out of five. So zero to five. And fourteen. Uh, Still not on. Uh no. Oh, hang on a second. He's coming back in. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next one. Fifteen. Four, Rhonda. Okay, sixteen. Three. Seventeen. Five. Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen is you, Bill. I'm not sure if you're muted. Don't see number eighteen. Okay. Uh, Nineteen. One. So the average score is three point one, and the total score is twenty one point one. I'm back, Rhonda. Okay. Uh, Ron, it's Doug. Did you call my number? Uh, I did not. So I didn't realize you were back on. Okay, you, uh, you can give me your vote and I'll update the score. Okay. Uh, uh, three. Okay. Do we have Bill <laughs> on? Okay, I might have lost Bill. Okay. Bill's on. Can you yes. Okay. Uh, your score, Bill. Bill's on. Bill's here, and it was a it was a four. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Okay. Thank you. So that changes the average score to three point two, and the total to twenty one point two. You got nine, you Rhonda? Uh, no. Hang on. Oh. Um, yes. Go ahead. I would say a four. Okay. I just need to update. Okay, so the average score is 3.2 and the total is 22.2. Thank you for that, Rhonda. And we can go back to Andre's project now that he's reconnected. So we'll go back. So go back to page 15. Yes. Okay, it is. You want me to go ahead? Yes, yes. go ahead, Andre. Okay. Uh, this applicant uh, in June. He had two uh, applications, one for er erosion control and one for buffer strip. He was approved for the erosion control one and the buffer was deferred. I called him last week and asked him about the, def the, uh, the deferred project. That's the one, yeah. The deferred project, uh, he, was, he said that he is going to have a three meter buffer established with the erosion control program. So he didn't see any need to have another one for a buffer, an extra buffer project. Although it'd be in some places where it'd be more than three meters, say, because he wants to kind of straighten the uh, the line along the ditch, okay? <coughs> the field. But he he, he doesn't he does not intend to go ahead with the the buffer one. So is he withdrawing? This yes, application? Yes, Okay. Thank you for that. That one easy. Okay, okay. we'll move to page 18 of the agenda. Yeah, to uh, control tile drainage and cover crop, the two. And it's on eight, pages 18 to 21. So Andre's project again? Uh, I think this is Renee. 
screening? Yes, I went out to this property uh, about three weeks ago. I was very surprised uh, about how much drop there is from the field level to the Scotch River. It is as much as 50 feet of drop from the field level down to the Scotch River. So all three projects are on the same field. This first one is for controlled oil drainage. And the, he, I think there are seven structures proposed. I believe his application said eight, but I think he told me that it would be seven control tile drainage structures. So he does have very serious erosion at all along the edges of the 90 acre field. And by eliminating several tile outlets, it will help to uh, control the erosion. <laughs> I can perhaps add some additional information. So on your screen, and for those that have the slide deck, I have the, the slide up that has the two uh, sketches from the landowner that submitted on the 90-acre field. So again, there are three projects coming in from this landowner, A, B, and C. A is the tile drain structures. So these are the um, T or H indicated on the map on, uh, on the sketch on the left. So T being tile drain control structures and H uh, being Hickenbottoms and then the S is for stone and geotextile which if you look to the sketch on the right coincides with the locations of the erosion um, work being proposed so Renee I'm not sure do you know if he has additional erosion to fix or is it just erosion around where the tile control structures are going in to stabilize there is erosion, I believe, in seven different areas. I have um, photocopies of sheets that he gave me here, and uh, he's got them listed. Uh, and I believe that it's in several areas, not necessarily where there are only the uh, tile outlets. Okay. For the most part, they look like they coincide, but I do have a few photos um, that came in as well. So um, the uh, cover crop request, so uh, 13B is on the entire 90 acre field. That was another question we had is we weren't sure where the cover crop was going. So this entire 90 acre field will be under cover crop. Again, the drainage is indicated on the sketch on the left and the erosion indicated on the sketch on the right. So I'm going to move on to, there's a couple of photos here today that uh, we pulled from what came in. And we weren't 100% sure of the location, but this gives you a fairly good overview uh, of what the fields look like. So in the top left, you can see there are some areas that have some significant erosion for repairs. Um, the pictures on the right show kind of the cropping and lay of the land. There is some... Um, Buffer's already in place, so um, where the erosion is being done, the buffer will be added, uh, the landowner indicated, in the areas where there isn't currently a buffer. So we do need to rate um, each of these projects, and they each have a separate um, rating sheet. And in your packages, um, they're in order A, B, and C. So Madam Chair, we can start with uh, the project summary on page 19, which is for the control, oh, sorry page um, page 18 for the controlled tile structure okay so we'll start with the committee's uh, scoring then are there any questions before I call your numbers I have a question Rhonda when they talk about controlled tile structures they're talking about a controlled tile outlet right Not yes I I believe so. The landowner I know already has some installed um, on his property on other fields. So I'm going to assume it's the same type of structures that we've seen and have used ourselves with um, David Lapin's group. Or okay. very similar. Thank you. Okay, we'll start. So on the project on page 18, uh, number one. Uh, number one, you're muted. Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, 
Four. Okay. Number two. Four. Three. Uh, three, you might be muted. Yeah, uh, four. Number five. Four. Eleven. Two. Thirteen. Three. Fourteen. Andre, your video looks like it's frozen. I'll come back to you. Uh, number 15. Five. Sixteen. Four. Five. Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen, you might be muted. Come back. Nineteen. Rhonda, are you getting yes. me now, Bill? Oh, yes, I am. 18. I'm not sure my mute and unmute isn't working properly or else I'm not working it properly. So I, I'm a five. Okay. You can try leaving it unmuted, Bill, and we'll see if there's any feedback. Thank you. Uh, 19. Five. And Andre, can you hear us? Uh, can you uh, try again for your number? Okay, lost Andre again. All right, so the average score is 4.1, giving the total score 24.1. Okay, so we'll move forward to the uh, cover crop aspect. Is that correct? Okay, any questions on the cover crop? Again, it's for the entire 90-acre field. All right, number one. Uh, four. Number two. Three. Three. Five. Number five. Four. Oh, no, not six. Number 11. <coughs> Five. Thirteen. Four. Fourteen. We've lost Andre again. Uh, Fifteen. Three. Uh, Sixteen. Four. Seventeen. Four. Eighteen. Five. And nineteen. Four. Let's check to see if we've got all Andre, you're back. I'm not showing you as muted, Andre. Can you hear I'm us? I'm not showing you as muted, Andre. Can you hear us? still have problems with Andre. All right, so our average score is again 4.1, bringing the total to 23.1. We'll move on to... Um... Hang on, Lori's telling me my, my math is wrong. One second. Uh... Sorry, Rhonda, I did not hear you. One second, I'm just double checking the math on that. Hey, Madam Chair, we're good. So we'll go on okay. to the last one, which is the erosion. Okay, go through the process. Any questions on this uh, 
before we proceed. Okay, we'll start with number one. Uh, four. Number two. Four. Number three. Four. Four. Can you check the lobby? Uh, number five. Four. Eleven. Four. Thirteen. Four. Hi, Andre. Andre, do you have a score for uh, the erosion for 13C? The erosion? Yeah, yes. I would say four. Okay. Uh, number 15. Five. 16. Four. 17. Four. 18. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you there? 18, if you're Ted Bill. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> you have a score, Bill? Five. Thank you. And 19. Five. Okay, our uh, score is 4.3, bringing the total to 21.3. May I ask Rhonda, um, we'll come back to this on where they fall out as we go yes, forward? Yes, that's correct. So I'm okay, going to switch you. slide decks again. Thank you everyone for going through the deferred project process. And we'll move on to new business. So item number A is the request for approval for the Eastern Ontario Water Resources Program financial statement as of August 31st, 2020. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Madam Chair. So on page 25 is the cover report. So I'll turn your attention to page 26, which is the summary of finances to date. Um, again, uh, we had for 2020, 25,000 coming in from United Counties of Prescott Russell. 50,000 with the City of Ottawa, and we had carry forward of uh, from 2019 of 38,902. Um, the budget is broken down in the um, first number column of your table. Um, so again, that total 113,902 is broken down between project management committee. Um, there are 2019 projects that carried forward with that uh, funding from 2019. We had two special projects identified for 2020. Um, UCPR's full allocation of 25,000 went to floodplain mapping, and a portion of the City of Ottawa's uh, 50,000 went to the South Bear Brook catchment study. Um, and then at the June meeting, we allocated 2020 grants to the four projects, uh, which we'll hear updates from all but one of them uh, this morning. Uh, for expenses, as you um, are, I'm sure are aware, most of the grants um, are paid out at year end once the projects are completed. So uh, expenses to date at the end of August are some project management, would also, which also includes the advertisement for the call for proposals, um, the committee meetings in March and June, and the floodplain mapping project did wrap up March 31st. So that's the only project that's complete. So again, the bulk of the projects are expected to be um, paid out um, at year end. There may be a few carryovers, which we'll update you on in November. Um, so at this point, we're not um, estimating any uh, carry forward, but we likely will have some that will be indicated at the November meeting. So I'm happy to entertain any questions. Um, Rana, do you show us that page? Uh, I don't have it as a slide. So oh, okay. the summary is on page 26 of the package. So right now, expenses to date are um, project management 2,477, committee expenses 686, and the only project complete to date is the UCPR mapping at 25,000. So expenses to date are 28,163, which leaves 85,739 still to be paid out. So at this time, if 
there's no any further questions, we're looking for a mover to receive and file this uh, information. Doug Thompson will move. Thank you, Doug. Seconded. Seconded, Ray Beauregard. Thank you, Ray. Anyone opposed? Hearing none, carried. Thank you, Rhonda. Item number B, uh, we'll get updates from the Eastern Ontario Water Resource Program projects. And we'll start off with uh, the City of Ottawa Weather Station project update. Hello, Kat, you there? Hi, everyone. Hi. Um, good morning. Uh, so, yes, we had a, a climate change um, project, or a, sorry, a climate station project uh, approved at the June um, Clean Water Committee meeting. And um, uh, the update for that project is that uh, we have secured all of the equipment. Um, we have it in-house here. Um, the station will be installed on an SNC property um, just southwest of, of uh, the community of Grayley within the city of Ottawa. And it uh, fills a very important um, gap for us uh, within our um, climate monitoring network. Um, so uh, we'll be out on site this week actually, uh, prepping the site to receive the station. Uh, we've secured all of our permits and uh, the station should be installed and transmitting data by uh, Thanksgiving. So I should have a, a final report for the for the committee uh, at the next Clean Water uh, meeting. It's Bill, in a few words, uh, Kat, tell us what you will expect from this station. Oh, sure thing. Um, so the station, um, the station will have uh, an all-weather precipitation gauge installed on it, as well as uh, soil moisture sensors. Um, th this data is really essential to our uh, hydrologic model um, and helping calibrate it. Uh, it's, it's important for our flood forecasting and warning programs to give us an indication of, of how much rain is falling uh, across the jurisdiction. Um, the station is uh, telemetered, so it'll transmit data on an hourly basis, um, and then we and then were able to capture it uh, right away within our own water information system in the office. Any further questions of Catherine? No, but thank you very much. Okay, no problem. Hearing none. Uh, Rhonda, I take it we don't need, do we need a mover? Uh, just yes, to receive and file. Okay, so I'm looking for a mover to receive and file the update. Um, uh, Tara Redpath, I'll move. Seconded, Bill. Seconded. Anyone opposed? Hearing none, carry. Carry. So we'll move on to item number two, South Nation River Water, water Budget Update. Phase one, Catherine again. Okay, um, so this project was also approved at the June Clean Water Committee meeting. And um, so, so um, SNC has a 3D surface water groundwater hydrologic model um, that was developed in 2017 as part of um, an agriculture and agri-food agri Canada agri-risk grant. And um, actually it's this model that uh, incorporates um, information from those climate stations we were just talking about. Um, it, uh, it is really essential to our flood forecasting and warning program um, by providing uh, a seven-day forecast of, of water quantity um, uh, within, our, within our watershed uh, based on climate forecasts from Environment and Climate Change Canada. Um, Oops, Kat, you went on mute. So sorry, I must have hit a button there. <laughs> um, so the the water budget or the water budget project uh, will exp will expand use of the hydrogeosphere model um, by incorporating new new inputs. Um, so including different land use rasters, uh, we'll take a we'll be able to take a look at. Um, scenarios where uh, there's where there's no forest or wetland on the landscape 
or, or different um, proportions of, of forest cover and land uh, and wetland uh, on the landscape. Um, we'll also uh, be looking at several different uh, climate and storm scenarios um, that uh, that incorporate climate predictions. And um, we're working pretty closely with Aquanti on this project. Uh, Mike Mullaney, our hydrogeologist, has um, developed a, a detailed work plan with Aquanti. Um, so those new inputs and, and new model infrastructure will be completed by the end of 2020. And at that time, SNC um, will be running some different scenarios uh, through the model. So um, we'll have a final report ready in uh, June of 2021. Any questions of Catherine in regards to this? We're seeing no raised hands. I'm looking for a mover and seconder for information received. I so move, Andre. Thank you, Andre. Second by Bill. Thank you, Bill. Anyone opposed? <laughs> Hearing none. Harry. Thank you, Catherine. So item number three is the Lagoon Effluent Tree Irrigation and Evapotranspiration Study. Chris. Chris, your line is muted. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay now. Yes. Hi, Chris. Welcome. Hello. How are you? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, so just a quick update. Um, I've started the, the field work there. We've uh, installed the pump on the a floating dock, which we built in the lagoon. Uh, so now we're able to dose the, uh, uh, the wetland system. So it's, um, we tested it out last week and we get flow into the wetland, but there is a small leak in the pipe. So we're, we're going to uh, dig up the leak section uh, tomorrow and then fix that. Um, other than that, um, everything is ready to roll. The uh, student working on the project has been talking to the Fergus Forestry Center for the best type of uh, um, hybrid poplars for um, for the tree plantation, and um, we hopefully will be able to uh, install them this fall. If it's too late, then we'll have to do it in the spring. But um, I'm hoping to get some trees planted this fall. Um, but definitely, we'll be running the um, the wetland throughout the rest of the season and uh, start collecting data. I'm looking for a mover and seconder. Receiving five. Terrence, I would like to move, please. Terrence, thank Second, you. Second, Doug Thompson. Thank you. Any questions of Chris? Hearing none and seeing those raised hands. Call the question. Anyone opposed? Hearing none, carried. Thank you, Chris. Bye bye. <laughs> bye now. And just Wait, a note, Chris. our fourth project um, unfortunately was uh, received the email for a request for an update um, just after the package has gone out. So she's a student and uh, was not uh, in access with her email um, beforehand. So she will have an update for us on the last approved project at the November meeting. Perfect. Thank you for that, Rhonda. So I'm just going to switch back slide decks here. So we're on to item number C in new business, and that's the request for approval, extension to projects approval deadline, and that's on your page 30 in your agenda packet, and I'll pass it over to Lori. Hi, Lori. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning Lori. Good morning, Lori. Okay, so um, this landowner, um, was approved initially in September of 2018 uh, for manure storage. He requested an extension um, at the September 2019, 2019 meeting and his um, extension or project deadline was due June 20th. Um, Madam Chair was his program rep and she followed up with him on July 7th of this year and due to uh, COVID he, the contractor he had hired to do the job um, cancelled, um, therefore he needed to hire a new contractor and he is uh, very confident that the work will be, cl be completed by December 1st, 2020. I don't know, Jackie, if you have anything else you'd like to add. 
know, nothing more at this time. We were just, um, you know, as with bumps in the roads for most people uh, this year. Um, he, he is confident that the project will be done this year. So nothing more to say. So the resolution is the Clean Water Committee approve extending 2018 EDW CW 25B mineral storage project deadline to December 1st, 2020. So move, Andre. Andre. Second. Glenn. Glenn. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none. Anyone opposed? Hearing none, carried. Thank you, Lori. So item number D, request for approval, the Ottawa Rural Clean Water Program project application. It's pages 31 to 34 in your agenda packet. First one up. So this is a well decommissioning um, grant under the Ottawa Rural Clean Water Program. Um, the reps do not do site visits for these projects any longer. So this landowner um, had an old well, there was no water, so they wanted to uh, have it decommissioned. Just a note, Madam Chair, on these Ottawa Clean Water Program projects, um, the funding is fully allocated under the Ottawa program, so any approvals we make today will be conditional, and they'll be conditional on funding becoming available. So approved, conditionally approved projects from this meeting will move on to the waiting list. Okay, and as there's no scoring, there's nothing to drop off, they just sit, is that That's correct? That's correct, yes. Okay, so they will be carried over to uh, 2021. The grant request is 90% of um, the total cost, and it ends up the landowners asking for $2,227.50. So I'll look for a mover and a seconder, and then we'll have some discussion, okay? Ray. Renee. Tara, I'll second. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Anyone opposed? Hearing none, will be carried and on a waiting list. Okay, project. This okay. here is a forest management plan. Um, Landowners submitted, and um, I believe the property size is 90.5 acres. Grant request is $375. And looking for a mover. Andre. Andre, second by. All second. Russell. Russell, mm -hmm. thank you, Russell. Any discussion? <laughs> Yes, as each presenter could presents, could they please state the page number from the agenda? It would help some of us that don't have the visuals. Okay, so we are on a page 32, your agenda. Thank you. Right. Uh, any further discussion? I'll call the question. Anyone opposed? Hearing none and seeing no raised hand. Okay. On page 33 of your agenda package. This here is another uh, forest management plan and um, sorry, I'm just looking at my so the estimate cost is $500. Yes, the grant request is three seven, seven, five. seven five. Yes. So I'm looking for a mover. I can move this, Tara. Second. 
Thompson. Thank you. <clears throat> Any discussion? Are we looking at the same properties? Yes, no. Page, no, this is on page 33, the different forest management plan. So just a reminder, Madam Chair, this is actually the handout. So this is the amendment we made at the beginning of the meeting. Oh, so this right. is the PDF that was sent after the agenda. Sorry. Okay. Are we clear on what we're we're looking at now? So hearing no further discussion, I'll call the question. All those oh, no. Anyone opposed to approval? Hearing none, carried. Okay. So still on page 33 based on what I'm seeing. Sorry, that's a typo. It should say page 34. Okay. <laughs> No, this is still the forest management. Sorry, I, I was a slide behind. Mm -hmm. OK, this is on page 34, well decommissioning grant. Um, grant request is $675. I'm looking for a mover. Ray. Ray, thank you, Ray. Glenn. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the name. Glenn. Thanks, Glenn. Discussion? Questions? Hearing none. All those, anyone opposed to approving this project? Hearing none. Carried. Thank you, Lori. So just a reminder, so all those projects that are approved for the Ottawa Clean Water Program will be on a waiting list. So we're on to item number E, which is an update and summary of the clean water program application. So pages 35 to 37 in your agenda packet. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, again, as we rate projects, um, we will have um, funding fully allocated at this meeting. So if uh, you can turn your attention to page 36 of your agenda package. I do have two typos of, uh, that were noticed uh, after we sent the package out. The first is on table one, it's the third project from the bottom, 2020 CLR CW18 well decommissioning. The grant um, amount that was awarded, it says request, it's actually the amount awarded, um, is 950, not 1,000. So 950 on that well decommissioning third from the bottom of table one. In table two, um, I have a well decommissioning project uh, that shouldn't be there, uh, 2020 NGR CW10. It was approved, so if you can just strike that one out, it's the third line down in table uh, two. So those are the projects that we just went through under business arising. Uh, table two is uh, business arising. Table three are the three projects from June which were placed on the waiting list. Hey, and if you Turn your attention to page 37. You'll see the summary of applications coming to you today uh, in table four. So we do have uh, $28,013 of new projects coming in. Um, we do have requests. Uh, the first project on table two, page 36, uh, 2020 NAT CW06B was withdrawn. And I didn't have that information when I did this request. So there's about 20,500 in the deferred and 28,000 uh, in new applications. So again, funding still available from the um, June meeting um, with the correction to table one is $8,676.50. So that's still funding to be allocated. 
We also have um, two projects that were approved in 2019, which are not proceeding. There's one erosion and well one well decommissioning, which frees up $6,000 for reallocation. Uh, so we have about $14,676 uh, of funding that we can allocate. So um, again, this is for information purposes as we rate. Uh, once we get through all of the projects, um, I'll sort them by priority and we'll look at um, allocating the remaining of the funding. Okay, oh, that was a bit, uh, everybody clear on that or have some questions of Rhonda? So my understanding, Rhonda, going Rhonda? forward? Rhonda? Rhonda? Sorry. Rhonda? Yes. Uh, give us the rating and the remaining projects in Table 2. We just went through and rated them. I didn't write them down. Uh, yep, just one second. Uh, CW15. Which is the bottom, sorry, they're in a different order. So the last project in table two, the stream bank erosion, uh, CAW, C, uh, CW15, is uh, 21.6 is the final rating. Uh, back up to the top of the table, again, that first project, CW06B, was withdrawn. NST CW09 score was 22.2. Uh, 13A, the control tile drainage, 24.1. The cover crop B is uh, 23.1. And the last project, uh, stream bank erosion C, is 21.3. Thank you. And out of table three, which ones did you say were not going forward? So table three is the waiting list. So they were scored um, at the June meeting, but they didn't meet the minimum threshold to be approved at that time. So they're on a waiting list and they'll be brought back into the um, into the mix when we sort out the scoring today. So likely they will not be funded um, given the amount of projects over 21.5 that we already have approved and the available funding. So that waiting list, um, I'd like to revisit that, Madam Chair, maybe after we've allocated all the funding, we'll, we'll have a discussion um, on the waiting list before we uh, we move on. Okay. Uh, did you not, not say earlier on, Rhonda, that uh, one or two of those projects had been withdrawn? Uh, no. So the two that were, um, the one that was withdrawn from today's agenda is in Table 2, the first line. Um, we had two 2019 projects. They were approved in 2019 for completion this year. They're not proceeding. There was one erosion and one de well decommissioning, which freed up $6,000 for reallocation. So available funding today is uh, $14,676.50. Thank you. And we have approximately um, 48,000 in requests. If there are no further questions on that, we can move into the project review. Just a, a little note to those that uh, sit on the board, the number of uh, requests and, and what we have to allocate, the difference between, just a little note. Uh, okay, so we'll go on to the project. We are on page 38, those that are following along, and you're ready to go, Andre? Yes, this is a uh, cover crop project. Uh, I believe it's 40 acres. I uh, didn't look at my note. And it's uh, it's new land. Oh, actually, I shouldn't say it's, it's not new land, but he, he just uh, tile drained this land and leveled it, and he... Uh, it's already seeded with uh, winter wheat and some uh, legumes, uh, red clover mainly. Yeah, 40 acres. Any questions of Andre in this regards to this site? So just a note on the scoring for those that can see my screen for, and for those um, that can't, uh, the sub score is 20.6 uh, before the committee scores. Uh, just a note that for scoring uh, criteria number five, this uh, property is located outside of an area that we don't currently have a sub watershed score for. So I've converted the scoring to an amount out of 22. So we did this on a few projects uh, last meeting as well. 
So again, for those that don't have the um, visual in front of you, the sub score is 20.6. And again, we're going to go through committee scores and your score allocation is zero to five. Thank you for that, Rhonda. So I can start with number one. Uh, four. Number two. Three. I didn't hear my number. <laughs> That's all right. Number three. Three. Number five. Four. Number eight. Three. Eleven. Three. Sixteen. Three. Fifteen. Three. Sixteen. Three. Francois did have the lead yeah. early, yeah. so I believe he has left. Okay, so the uh, total average score is 3.3, .3, bringing the total score to 23.9. Thank you. Rhonda, it's Doug here. I, yes. uh, I have to leave for about 30 minutes. Will that cause a problem? Um... Nope, I think. Do I have Just see who's still on here. We're just at quorum. If you leave, Doug, we should be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll I have to sign out now, but I, I will call in shortly. It might be 20 minutes or so, or 25 minutes, but uh, I will come back. Well, thank you for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you back. All right, bye for now. Thank you. We are on page 39. And again, it's Andre. Yes, this is another cover crop uh, project. Uh, it's a 50 acre field, which uh, this gentleman is a, is a dairy producer and he likes to rotate with uh, three, mainly three crops, corn, soybeans, and cereals, mainly winter wheat and some uh, either uh, clovers or wild radishes, which I think this is what the, that was the intent to put in with the, uh, the winter wheat in this one. Okay, for those who don't have the visual, the sub score is 16.5. And just a, a couple of questions for Andre. So it is an intermittent water course that it's nearby. Come again? The, the field. Oh, in the middle, you mean? Um, I about. don't know because uh, I was not actually on the farm. It's Wilson Drain, which I believe it's a verbal, uh, it's a municipal drain, mm -hmm. but I'm not entirely sure. Thank you. Sorry, Rhonda, do you want to go ahead through the rating? Sure. So we'll start with number two. Five. Three. Four. Five. Four. Eight. Three. Eight. Three. Eleven. Four. Thirteen. Uh, three. Fifteen. Three. Sixteen. Three. Seventeen. Three. Eighteen. Five. Five. Nineteen. Oh, no, nineteen's Five. gone. Oh, no. Uh, three point seven. Rhonda, I have a question again for Andre's yes. regard. Yes. 
Um, so the the diagram showed that it was a municipal drain, right? And he's doing a cover crop in his normal rotations. Does he have buffers along that municipal drain? Like I said, I was not on the farm, so I, I, I couldn't answer that. I don't know. Okay. So just a question, putting it out there, whether buffers are maintained regularly on this field? I don't know. Okay. I, I imagine knowing that the producer is a good manager, so I, I imagine he must maintain a buffer strip, but I don't know. Okay, thank you. If, right. if we approve, Madam Chair, I think we can include that as one of the requirements. Thank you for that, Bill. That's what I was hoping to hear. Okay, I'm making a note. So again, the committee score is 3.7, bringing the total score to 20.2. Thank you. On to the next one, page 40. This is a well abandonment, I guess. Yes, this is a well abandoned within a poultry barn. Uh, the intent, the producer wants to put up a new building and the, uh, the request was to decommission this well, which was no longer needed. It was a sand point within the barn. Okay, so uh, the sub score is 19 on this one. And if there are no questions, I'll start calling numbers. Any questions of this project? Go ahead, Rhonda. Okay, number two. Five. Number three. Five. 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 Eight. Four. Eleven. Five. Madam Chair. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you say 13, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, five, five, I think. 15. Five. 16. Five. 17. Five. 18. Eighteen is five. Perfect, all right, thank you. Uh, 4.9 for a total score of 23.9. Thank you. <clears throat> Page 41. <clears throat> Andre? Yes, uh, this is a septic system which has been in place for uh, 25, 30 years. And presently, we don't see it too much, but on the left, the first, on the first picture on the left, there's a row of uh, cedar trees where the roots are coming in into the, uh, into the system and they are clogging the, uh, the system entirely. So uh, the, uh, the intent is that he doesn't have a choice, you have to replace it. There any questions? Okay, so the sub score uh, is question. my. No, there is a ahead. question there. Go ahead. Uh, if this individual is on city water, is, is city sewer available to him as well? Come again? This site shows city water available. Is city sewer available as well? No, just water. Thank you. It's a small village. Okay, so the sub score is 19.4. So we can start with number two. Uh, four. Three. Uh, four. Five. Five. Eight. Four. Eleven. Four. 
uh, for 15. Five. Sixteen. Oh, you're muted. Number sixteen. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Four. Um, number seventeen. You're also muted. Hello. Oh no, number seventeen. Turn off. You're muted. There we go. Four. Eighteen. Five. 4.3 is the score, total 23.7. So we just lost Andre. <laughs> okay, on to page 42, and we need Andre back for that one. We can go to... While Andre's reconnecting, Did we jump ahead to something else. Uh, few the information up. looks rather complete, Madam Chair. <laughs> we could try and go ahead and score on page 42. So I'll read it through if you want, Rhonda. Sure. Our well is next to our neighbors and it was continuously running out of water each year as it did not seem to hold much. We have just had a new dug well on the other side of our property, away from all the neighbors, hoping to have a better source of water. The same company is de decommissioning the old well. And as you can see on the screen, there's some pictures of this old well. So I think we could fairly confidently rate it if we go around the table. Madam Chair, I have a question before. Sure. Go ahead, Karen. It just seems I don't know if the uh, top part of uh, the cement was just put like two feet away. It's the from the same well. There's another well. It's in the diagram. It doesn't. So just, yep, with the cursor there, that would be the top part. I think or hope. I, I just, think. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's the upper portion of the the concrete cap. It looks yep, like okay. it. Okie dokie, that's good. Just to confirm what I thought. No Thanks. Old well over here and new well up on the other side. Right. Looks good. So the sub score is 19. Go through. So we can start with number two. Four. Three. Five. 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 Eight. Four. Eleven. Five. Five. Fifteen. Five. Sixteen. Four. Seventeen. Five. And eighteen. Five. Four point seven for a total score of twenty three point seven. <clears throat> Moving forward onto page 43. Has Andre arrived back? I haven't seen him come back in yet. If he doesn't reconnect, what we can try doing is calling him by phone. Okay. We won't have a video connection, but we might be able to get audio. I'll just give him a few more moments to try and. Oops. Okay. Okay, he's coming back in now. Okay. I'm on, it's Andre. I'm coming yes. back. Okay, perfect. Well, we we just did your well decommissioning. Okay, on page uh, 42. Just, so we're yes. going to uh, we're on page 43. Um, another well, your second well decommissioning. Okay. Um, trying to recall on this one. I've got the uh, scoring sheet on this one. Uh, yeah, it'll come up. So um, that helps. Okay, I know. Okay, I got it now. Okay. Yeah, it's um, it is an agricultural, residential agricultural settings, 
and there was just no water, a uh, surface well, which the decommission, uh, as you can see, main on the left picture, and um, they dug another surface well for 12 inches in diameter at the different locations. So the subscore on this one is 19. Any questions of Andre in regards to this before we go around the table? Seeing none. Okay, number two. Four. Three. Four. Five. Five. Eight. Five. Eight. Four. Eleven. Five. Thirteen. Four. Fifteen. Five. Sixteen. Four. Seventeen. Five. And eighteen. Five. Four point five for a score of twenty three point five. Page 44. This is Adrian's one, Jackie. Yeah, so uh, from what Adrian has explained to me uh, over the phone, uh, he sends his regrets. Is this uh, well is just covered by a piece of wood? Uh, you know, there's children playing in the yard, and it was a, a huge safety concern um, with just a wood covering. So they've decided to go ahead and decommission. It's pretty straightforward. Any questions? Just, just a comment. Uh, the uh, decommissioning of wells primarily concerned there is the uh, quantity and quality of water, whereas the main concern here is the safety of children. Uh, I, I'm okay with that, but uh, we should look at the quality of water. That we're uh, protecting. Yeah. Um, yes. From what Adrian had provided me, uh, I do not know if there was a. Uh, they have drilled a new well, and the reasons for that, um, I don't know whether it was a water quantity or quality issue at this time um, for the new well. Bill. The Bill with a comment, and it yeah. is that um, even with. Um, um, safety or I'm sorry the water quality not mentioned anytime there's a well that uh, surface water or anything on the surface can run into I believe it's a it's a it's a water quality issue for others in the area and for the uh, the water table so therefore I'm, I'm a supporter of dealing with them yeah Michelle here I second that uh, comment from from Bill looking at this well here it's just an open hole in the ground and the location isn't great so Anyway, I agree. Yeah. And for those that may not have the visual in front of you, it, it is an old stone well, so definitely there is a high probability of surface water seepage um, through the, the stone. So it's, it's an old stone well located just in front of the, um, the residence for those that can't see the photo. Yeah. So right close to the driveway and not too far from the highway or the roadway, I believe, as well. Any further questions? So the sub score on this one is uh, 20 points. So we'll start with number two. Five. Three. Four. Five. Five. Eight. Number eight. Five. Eleven. Four. Thirteen. Four. Uh. Fourteen. Five. Fifteen. Five. Sixteen. Five. Seventeen. Five. Number eighteen. Five. Two. Sub score is four point seven. Total score is twenty four point seven.
on page 45. And we're back to you, Andre. Yes, actually, uh, there'll be three or four of these projects which will be coming in the near future. Uh, this is in the uh, Nation River across from the village of Casamon. And it's the same story as all the others. Uh, I just want to note that uh, on the picture at the left at the bottom, you can see the uh, the demo that uh, the South, not the South, well, yeah, the South Nation Conservation Authority, the project that they have approved as a demo a couple of years ago. Anyhow, coming back to this project, uh, this is a natural bank uh, along the river. Uh, there is some erosion. Erosion. Wait, me. There is some erosion. Uh, nothing major except that it is a natural waterway and there would be always some erosion. So some some control may have to be done, but I mean, I, I'm not entirely sure how to uh, score this. So just a, a reminder, so these this project and the next two coming up are in that Castleman area I mentioned under the business arising when we talked about the deferred projects. Um, exactly, the, yes, yes. Yes. So again, yes. Um, I think this. I think the rating will set out priorities for us on these projects. Um, so I, there are some comments um, which I can read for the benefit of those that don't have the visuals from our engineering staff. Um, so when engineering did the score, and they said the photos do not show much erosion, and by leaving the site naturalized with deep rooting plants, the erosion issue may resolve itself. This site may be a no-touch zone as per subdivision agreement. So there may be a requirement that a, a buffer be in place um, here through their subdivision agreement. Um, but again, they, uh, our engineering review didn't uh, consider it significant erosion, and uh, their rating is based on the proposed work. So it will fix what is there for erosion, but um, again, um, not considered significant in comparison to some of the other sites. Okay, thank you for that bit of information there, Rhonda. I think we probably could go through scoring if there's no further questions. So the sub-score is 14.5 uh, on this one. So number two. Two. Number three. Two. Number five. Number five. Uh, number five, you're muted. Oh, Sorry. Sorry about that. I'm going to say zero. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Renee? Two. Uh, Eleven. Zero. Thirteen. One. Fifteen. One. Sixteen. One. Zero. Number eighteen. Four. Okay, the subscore is one point three with a total score. Of fifteen point eight, so it does meet the minimum threshold, um, but will definitely be on the waiting list. Thank you. Page forty-six. Again, this is same story. It's along the uh, Nation River. It's on a straight stretch between uh, two bridges, one from the uh, via rail, yes, as you can see at the back, and the, uh, the, br the bridge that goes into the village there. Uh, nothing exceptional as far as erosion goes into in this section there. Any questions? Added well, it's, it's Bill with a question. Yes. Um, in, in these three, 
Has anyone suggested that they would plant some trees or shrubs that might also help stabilize, or is there a reason for not? Yes, uh, what I did, uh, Rhonda was nice, good enough to provide me with a conceptual uh, design where they were showing uh, a three meter uh, buffer along the river, along any water stream as far as that goes. And there'd be, uh, there'd be some trees and shrubs and uh, uh, wildflowers uh, or perennials that were suggested to plant. So again, this is the diagram I showed you at the beginning of the business arising. So we did provide information to these landowners on what the committee was considering higher priority in funding. So each applicant was provided the information. Um, some chose, though, to stick with um, their own design. So this one ha uh, has a bit of a terracing um, for those that can see the diagram. So they're suggesting some, a series of, of terraced walls to the watercourse. Um, again, if you don't have the visuals, uh, engineering um, had this exact same comment um, as the last project. So um, again, uh, photos not showing significant erosion and by leaving the site to naturalize with deep rooting plants, the erosion issue may resolve itself. And again, this may also be um, in the subdivision agreement, a no touch zone. So the um, sub score on this one is also 14.5. Okay. Any further questions of Rhonda or Andre? Hearing none, we'll go on. Okay, uh, number two. Two. Three. One. Five. Zero. Eight. Number eight. Two. Eleven. Zero. Zero. Fifteen. One. Sixteen. One. Seventeen. One. Eighteen. Three. Average score is one point one. Total score is fifteen point six. Thank you. We're on page 47 for those that are following along. And this is Can the last this of is, three. Uh, uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Again, this is the same story, although in this location, there seems to be a bit more erosion than in the two previous slides. Uh, but I mean, this, that's the same comment. I mean, uh, this is nat natural erosion, nothing, nothing major. Uh, this, if I recall properly, this guy intends to maintain the, there were some uh, trees that were already well established along the, uh, the stream bank. So his intention was to maintain those trees, not to touch them, plus to come in with some shrubs and some other trees. Any questions of Andre? So the diagram Andre is indicating a larger buffer strip at 15 meters, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Um, is that grass buffer? Dadbush grass buffer? Or is it a buffer of trees and otherwise? From the diagram, there there are a couple of trees. They may already be existing. So it Yeah, these were existing trees, but the, his intent was to put in more trees and shrubs. But again, there were no major erosion except that natural erosion along the, uh, the water stream. Okay, so again, on the scoring, our engineers review is the, again, exact same comments as, as the previous two. Um, and the subscore is 15 on this one. Thank you for that, Rhonda. So we'll start with scoring. Uh, number two. Three. Number three. Five. Zero. Hey, Rhonda, we didn't hear the number. Oh, so um, five was a zero. Mm -hmm. uh, number eight. Uh, two. Seven. 
two. Fifteen. Zero. Fifteen. Fifteen, you're muted. Sorry. Uh, one, I'll say. 15. One again. Seventeen. Uh, one. Bill? Eight, Eighteen is four. Uh, 1.6 for a total score of 16.6. Okay. That was wrong. There was four, so this is the last one in that area. Oh, okay. Uh, that's another one. Again, I mean, uh, I'm not sure what to add, but uh, it's basically the same, although you can see on the upper picture, you can see that there are some erosion, some undercuts under the uh, under the sod there, a bit, but I don't think there's any major erosion going on there. Getting by the 50 meter, is that across? I think that 50 meter may be the same as before. It's across a lot. Okay. Okay. So it's 15 meters across the lot, but they're not establishing, establishing a 15 meter buffer. Is that correct? Well, I don't recall this one especially, but uh, uh, I gave them the, uh, again, the design that to maintain at least a three meter and preferably to go a bit wider than three meters. So I'm, I'm just, for those that can see my slide, it says native shrubs here. It just, it's hard. it doesn't really have a distance. So existing bank grade is back here. So there might be a few uh, native shrubs that are proposed. Again, there'd be a three meter minimum buffer requirement anyhow. Uh, yes. But I don't believe this one, it doesn't indicate if it's going beyond the three meters that's required. No, you know what, these, these uh, land owners, they like to use every inches almost of feet of a uh, lot that they have behind the house. All right, so the... Um, um, sorry, Michelle here. I had to step away for two minutes. Is it, were there any photos on this one? Yeah. Okay, so it's similar to the other ones. Yeah, there's a bit of bank undercutting here, um, but not, again, significant. Thank you. So, again, I don't have it pasted here, but um, I'm going to assume that the engineering score, um, again, has the same comment, so the subscore on this one is 15. Okay. I'd go ahead and rate found it. Uh, number two. Two. Three. One. Five. Zero. Eight. Two. Eleven. Two. Zero. Fifteen. One. Sixteen. One. Seventeen. You're muted. Seventeen. Yep. Sorry that. Uh, one. Eighteen. Bill. Eighteen four. And the average score is 1.4 for a total of 16.4. All righty then. Hey, this is a uh, this is a different story altogether. This is in, in agricultural land. And this is along the east, uh, the west Castor, uh, west of Casamon. And uh, you can see that there was some important erosion happening. This is in a sharp corner of the uh, of the creek, and you can see that there was uh, there was some erosion, sharp erosion that did happen, and is still going on. 
uh, on the first, so I don't know, all the pictures actually. So the, um, the, the water stream is not blocked, but eventually if they are more erosion, uh, it may cause a problem with the, with the water stream, which at that place, at that location, is not very wide. Any questions? Are, are we looking at the uh, page 48? 49. 49. 49? Yes. 49. Okay, on the scoring on this one, because there was not a lot of information on the methodology, um, the engineering staff scored it based on what was available. Um, so your sub score on this one is 17.5. Any further questions? Andre, do you know if there's a, a good buffer at the top? I, I know the erosion is more for flow and because it's on a corner, but I was just wondering if this farmer does buffers at top of bank. <coughs> if this farmer, come again, Johnny, Jackie? Yeah, I was wondering if he, he uh, does buffer management at top of bank. You said it was agricultural land. Oh, uh, well, there's, it doesn't show in the, very well in the picture, but there is a good buffer, at least at least a three meter, with uh, natural shrubs, which uh, I've been growing over the years. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Hearing none, we'll go through scoring, please. Number two. Three. Number three. Three. Uh, five. Four. Eight. Number three. Number three. Uh, number 11. Four. 13. Uh, four. 15. Four. 16. Three. 17. Sorry again. One. And 18. Five. 3.4 for a total of 20.9. Okay, so we're on to page 50. Your agenda package. Again, this is a well decom. Uh, it looks uh, the well looks very nice, and it is a nice location too. But the, uh, the lady that owns the wells and the property, she said that there's just no water. So that's why she and she, they already dug another well. I mean, uh, about 100 feet away from the from the from the house. The other thing too, as you can see, the existing well is extremely close to the uh, to the building, which is which is the house. Uh, that's why she wants to decommission this this well. Any further questions? Is the other uh, replacement well also a dug well? Do you know? Yes, yes, it's a dug well uh, for 12 inch in diameter. And it's uh, this well was uh, if I could, uh, about 15 feet. She was not exactly sure, but about 15 feet deep. The other one is a bit deeper. Thank you. They're common in this area, Michelle, they, to have shallower wells. It's in the area where the old Champlain Sea was, so the drilled wells tend to be salty if they're too deep. Yeah, that's why actually I was asking. And it uh, looks like the other well may have still a dug or board well but a little bit deeper so thank you but to be honest it's a bit deeper but it, it is a slightly in a higher ground than this one okay so the sub score on this one is 17.5 go ahead Rhonda Number two? Four. Number 
Five. Four. Eight. You're muted, number eight. Still muted. Star six if you're on a phone to unmute. Uh, number eight, four. Sorry, I was on mute. All right. Uh, number 11. Five. 13. Four. 15. Five. 16. Four. 17. Four. Bill? 18 is 5. Thank you. Average score is 4.4 4. 4 for a total score of 21.9. Thank you. Page 51. Good name. This is in the village of Maxville. The well does not have enough water. They have two cisterns in the basement. And now the village of Maxville is getting municipal water. The well is right beside the driveway and very close to the street as well. So the well is being de decommissioned as soon as they do get municipal water. They still didn't have municipal water uh, two weeks ago, but it's coming. Any questions? And the subscore on this is 13. Number two? Five. Number three? Five. Number five? Five. Eleven. Five. Fourteen? Five. Fourteen? Five. Fifteen. Five. Sixteen. Five. Seventeen. You're muted. Eighteen. Five. Okay, thank you. Uh, number seventeen, you're muted. Seventeen, yeah, four. Thank you. Four point nine for a total of seventeen point nine. Page 52. That doesn't make sense. So, Renee, Number on page 52. This is a, the property has recently been purchased. The unfortunately, the the old well is just across the driveway from the septic tank. So, of course, the quality of the water is not good at all. And when I was there, the well driller was drilling a new well in front of the house and further west. But he was at 200 feet deep and still had no water. And he was letting the water trying to seep in on the weekend. So I haven't had any news from the landowner since. But definitely the old well has contaminated water and is only, I think, 26 feet from the uh, septic tank. Any questions, Bruno? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, we'll go on through scoring. Okay, so the subscore on this one is 17. So number two? Five. Number three? Five. 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 Eleven. Five. Thirteen. Five. I think we lost four, uh, number 14, I think just left, okay. Uh, Fifteen. Five. Five. Seventeen. Five. And eighteen. Five. Five is the average score for a total score of twenty-two point zero. I have a question, and that is, if 
they try different places and don't get water, will they be going back to the old well and using an ultraviolet system or something? I don't think so, Bill, because they already have a system to um, treat the water in the basement. And because when I was talking with the landowner, he said that the system had been installed something like 13 years ago by the plumber in Chrysler, but he had never been called upon to do any maintenance. But they do have a possibility of going to the extreme northeast corner of the property, which would be a long distance away from the septic system. They were trying closer to the road on the west corner, but they could go to the northeast corner if no success on uh, where he was that Friday afternoon. Thank you, sir. Okay. If you have an ultraviolet system, it has to be, uh, it has to be uh, maintenance every year at least once. Rhonda? Yes. May I just suggest while you're doing some calculation that we just take a short bio break? Sure. Um, so we say... Five minutes. Uh, five minutes, okay. Um, so if everyone can be back online, let's say at 11.10. Sounds good. Thanks, Madam Chair. Sounds good. Thanks, ma'am. All right. So if you disconnect, just uh, make sure you're reconnected as quickly as possible for 1110. Just put yourself on mute. And turn your, vid and turn your video no. off as well. It will and be turn your video on the off. Yes, we don't need to record what you're doing. <laughs>
entendais parler tout à l'heure? Oui. Ça, c'est toi, ton lien à toi. Pourquoi que je suis mieux, toi? Ah non, mais je passe tout le téléphone. Mm -hmm. Ça, c'est vidéo. Ça, c'est enlevé. Ah oui, là, faut que ça soit dessus. Qui te voit? C'est ça, faut pas qu'il y ait d'abord. Faut qu'il soit comme ça. Tu ne connais pas ta, ta caméra. Attends une minute, ça dit activer le son. Hello, I'm back. Okay, hey, Andre, I'm just going to mute you until we have everyone back online. Okay, thank you. Beautiful day out there to be cutting hay. It certainly is a beautiful day for cutting hay, and it also has been great with the rain because the, of this cut, whether it's second or third, is looking much better than we anticipated earlier. I agree, Bill. This is uh, just second cut for us. <laughs> Hey, Madam Chair, I have 11.10 and I'm showing everyone back, on. back. We also Thank have you. Doug just rejoin us uh, as well. Welcome back, Doug. The only thing about sharing meetings this way is I don't get a feel for the room when everybody's sort of been sitting for a couple hours. So I decided to take a break. Okay. So I've put up on the shared screen um, a sorting of the rating from today. So for those that can't see, um, we can approve two, four, six, eight, nine projects. Um, the last project uh, is an erosion project. Um, it's slightly more uh, funding than we had initially available for grants. But it's only a couple thousand dollars, so we can we do have money in the budget to cover it from other lines. So I would suggest that we um, pay out the full grant at, at five thousand. It makes it a little bit um, cleaner than having the landowner come back in the future for the balance of the grant. So for those that cannot see my screen, 
projects being approved today are um, CW25, grant request of $1,000, uh, a rating of 24.7. Uh, CW13A, uh, this is the tile uh, drain control project. Uh, for that applicant, $5,000 approved. Their score was 24.1. CW16B, uh, I believe was a cover crop of $1,000. Their score is 29.3. Uh, and uh, CW, CW21, uh, 500, which would be a well decommissioning, approved. Uh, 23.9 is the score. Uh, CW22, $2,000 is a septic, uh, approved, uh, their score was 23.7. CW23, $1,000, I believe that one's a well, uh, 23.7 was their score. CW24, uh, $1,000, uh, also a well, 23.5 was their score. 13B, which was the cover crop, uh, is approved at their score, 21 point, sorry, 23.1. And the final project receiving funding uh, at this meeting is uh, CW09, uh, erosion repair for your score, their score was 22.2. Um, so that's total uh, allocated today at 17,500. The remaining projects, uh, including the three from the June meeting on the waiting list, there are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 projects on the waiting list, totaling just over 31,000. So $31,009 um, onto the waiting list. Uh, Rhonda, when we, Bill, when we approve these, uh, will they be okay to go to the board for approval along with this meeting, a uh, draft information on uh, Thursday of this week? Uh, we are hoping to. The, the minutes would be on the supplemental agenda, which will go out uh, tomorrow morning. Thank you. Okay, so Rhonda, for clarification for me earlier on, you said we had a total of $14,000. Yes. So we have 14,676, I believe was the exact amount. Um, the last project, if you can see my screen, yep. CW09 at 5,000 uh, would be a partial payment. Um, we do have uh, some uh, funding we can pull from other lines within the Clean Out Water program budget to be able to pay that project out in full as opposed to giving them a partial payment. So I'm, I'm recommending that we uh, approve the full amount for that project. Just for clarification, could you just let me know where you're pulling the other funding from? Uh, it would be from our special projects line item. Okay. Just so everyone's aware. Thank yeah. you. Okay. So um, at this point, you're looking for a motion to approve... Yes, to approve the two, four, six, nine, eight, nine projects and to put the remaining projects onto the waiting list. Doug Thompson, I'll move that. Second, please. Ray, I'll second that. Thank you, Ray. Any further discussion? Hearing none, anyone opposed? Hearing none, carried. Okay, Madam Chair, before we leave the grants, um, I would uh, have, I do have a question for the committee and it's regarding um, whether or not the committee um, feels we should continue with site visits. We're still getting calls for grants. So again, we have a significant number of projects um, on the waiting list. Um, just wondering if uh, the committee um, would like to uh, halt site visits for the remainder of the year. Okay, so uh, the question out there is that we have 14 projects that sit on a waiting list. We have no funding for any projects on waiting list or otherwise. Do you wish to continue site visits and compile a waiting list even more? Will the so, current waiting list be forwarded to 2021? Uh, what we typically do in November is review and uh, what's on the waiting list going into 2021 and the committee can decide if the lower rated projects, if they'd like to remove them and only 
carry forward ones that are scoring higher. So we can have that discussion again in November. Um, what we would do with any new applicants calling right now is let them know that the funding is fully allocated, ask them to document their project before, during and after if they're proceeding, and then they would need to submit applications under the 2021 program. So we would not do site visits until spring of 2021. Any further discussion, questions? I concur. Would I'm not objecting. I just as a clarification question. Um, so they, if if someone applies or has their name in and wishes to apply now, they would be told to reapply in the spring. Yes. So they are required to contact us prior to doing the work. So if they contact us and indicate they'd like to apply, that leaves them eligible for future applications. So what we would do is ask them to document again if they're proceeding before a 2021 site visit. And they would be subject to any program changes in 2021. So they'd be subject to the guidelines for next year's program. I think I heard what you said earlier about uh, probably no more site visits, but with what you've just said, if any persons might be thinking seriously of moving forward, uh, there may be an advantage for them to make the application now and then it's at least on file if they move forward to be looked at next year. Tell me if I interpreted that correctly. Oh, we could submit an application form. However, um, if the committee chooses to make changes to the 21 program, they may need to resubmit. So what we've done in the past is just taking taken their contact information held it until we start site visits in 2021. And then we indicate if they're doing any work um, before our program reps get to their site, just to make sure they document that in photos so that we have a record of what the existing condition was. So, um, I mean, we could send them the application form, but again, I'm recommending that we not send program reps out to any additional sites um, this fall. I had a quick question as well, Madam Chair. Go ahead, Chair. Uh, just is this just to clarify this? We're talking about the clean water program, not the Ottawa Rural Clean Water Program, correct? Right. Yes, that is correct. I thought so, but I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Yes. Good question. So we are over allocated in that uh, program as well for Ottawa. So um, we'll have a discussion with. Um, city staff, which is Tara and uh, Rito, Mississippi Conservation Authorities. We may halt site visits um, after the next Rito meeting as well, uh, but that decision has not been made yet. This, this recommendation would be for the clean water program only. So the recommendation is to halt site visits for 2020 uh, and let any new applicants uh, or interested people know that uh, this is the case and that they are to document if they're going to go ahead with their project. Is this that, correct? Robert? That is correct. And they would be brought in um, under the 2021 program. Okay. So I'm looking for a mover for that recommendation. I'd move Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. Seconded. Ray. I see Russell. I don't know if you're on mute. I can, Russell, I don't I can know if you're second it. That. Tara's here. Okay, thank you, Tara. So any further discussion, questions or concerns? Hearing none and seeing no raised hands, I'll call the question. Anyone opposed the motion? Hearing none, carried. Okay. So there is no supplemental. So we'll go through the portion of the today's agenda where we do round table, which is community engagement. Um, I will start this one off. It's been pretty hard to do <laughs> in a COVID situation, but uh, as most of you know, I sit on the low water response uh, committee and uh, discussing the challenges with that. But uh, other than that, I haven't out and about very much. Anyone else had opportunities or would like to provide details of such? Bill? Go ahead, Bill. 
I'd like to say a big thank you to all of the staff for adapting at the South Nation for adapting so well and working and producing during the the, the last uh, COVID-19 uh, months that we've been moving. Uh, they've adapted to working at home. They've adapted to coming in occasionally. They've adapted to uh, producing well under trying circumstances. And so uh, compliments to the leadership and the staff and a big thank you. Just to let you know, about a third of the staff now is back on a rotating schedule, and many of them are in the field working as well. I want to mention to you as well that our board meeting on Thursday of this week is planned as an in-person meeting at South Nation. This will be the first in-person meeting since uh, February. And the idea is that uh, we will try it. It'll be, we'll be spaced. We'll be following all the necessary and, and obligatory rules. We will be um, not having uh, staff members present with the exception of a few of the leaders and, uh, and Diane and uh, secretarial or administrative people. Um, staff will be on site, or no, I'm sorry, on uh, the web, or it'll be streamed, and uh, public and staff will be able to pick it up that way and make the reports that way. I've had questions from a few of the committee chairs and committee members wondering when they might be able to meet in person. I've suggested to them that after the meeting on the 17th of September, and when we see what happens um, in October and November, we'll be making decisions and recommendations about whether we continue with uh, re these virtual meetings or whether we move ourselves along and uh, plan for some in-person meetings following all the strict rules that are around about. I might say that if you follow such things, and I don't know all of the details, but uh, SD&G, Stromanda and Nesselungary, has been meeting in person for the last couple of months. Uh, North Stromont is meeting in person at, for sure this month. Uh, Russell is meeting in person, but not having delegations in. So there <laughs> is movement toward opening up in all of our areas. And lastly, a big thank you to you people for uh, following the rules so carefully and making sure that you hit the right buttons at the right time <laughs> and uh, having patience for us that we're slow. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill, for that. And I do to the staff and everyone else. It has been a, a difficult year. Anyone else had opportunity? Jackie, uh, just follow up on Bill's comment. I believe Edgar's for Cardinal Council has met all the way through in person. They've uh, got a large enough uh, boardroom that the council uh, council chamber, they uh, spread themselves out. No public is allowed in, but they spread themselves out. And with the uh, United Counties of Leeds and Granville at the county level, uh, they have uh, got back to a situation where all members are present except for one. There's only one that comes online. Thank you. Thank you. If I can add as well, North Dundas for the last month has met at the uh, Winchester Arena, well spaced, with a maximum of 50 people uh, present or in, in, able to come in. And they're hoping in October to be back at the council chambers, but that depends on. Thank you. Thank you. Hearing no other discussion, we'll move on. I, uh, Jackie, I did share with Rhonda when I first signed in this morning, I got a, an email, a picture of my grandchildren ready for school, their first day back after March break. Nice, eh? Scary times. It is time. Um Correspondence in the package is just for your information. Um, there's a small grains program that's uh, launching for 2021. So we included the information um, on page 53 in the package if you haven't seen that announcement yet. Thank you for that, Rhonda. So the next uh, meeting... I had a question about that, Rhonda, if I may, Madam Chair. Go ahead. Uh, is, where, will, where will the dollars come from to pay for that? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, sorry. I, I'm reading the bottom of the sheet. It is a grant um, from the W. Garfield Weston Foundation. Ah, thank you. I do see that now, too. Yes. Who do they apply to? The Garfield uh, organization? 
I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not as familiar with this one. It came in yeah. by email. Um, so, Bill, I would imagine the applications would go through the Ecological Farmers Association. Mm -hmm. So they probably, just like any other program, been allocated a certain amount of funding. So there would be an approval process for them. Right. So you may recall, Bill, that the um, Alice Ontario East and Alice Canada is also receiving funding from this foundation. So I would suspect it's a similar setup. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's one of the reasons I asked the question. I wondered if Alice was involved, but they didn't seem to say that in it. No. Um, as, as well. Uh, this looks to be a, se a separate program. Like it's a, So I imagine Ecological Farmers uh, had applied to the Weston Foundation for funding and received them and probably are um, putting the program out themselves. So this is not, and Alice would be something separate. That's my understanding too, Jackie. Yeah. The further question I have is, is this something that uh, our South Nation uh, funding, clean water funding should consider supporting as well? Uh, it's a discussion we can have in March when we look at the program guidelines for 2021. Um, this looks to be focused to small grains. Um, it, it does have a cover crop component, so it may be something that we may be interested in, in topping up. Uh, is a discussion we could have at our March meeting when we look to set 2021 program guidelines and grant structure. Good, that's what I thought. We should discuss it and make a decision yes or no. Thank you very much. Uh, is there also a possibility of uh, looking at partnerships? We could. We With can explore. What? Yeah, we can explore maybe over the next couple of months. Mm -hmm perhaps aligning our goals with theirs and maybe there's a way we can get funded into the program. Just a thought. Making a note. Yeah, uh, comments, questions, concerns? So our next meeting is scheduled for November 26th. It's uh, the 30th, Madam Chair. We corrected Sorry. that one earlier. I did. I just didn't write it on my agenda. The 30th, same time. And, uh, yeah, we'll so at questions. this point, um, assume it's going to be virtual unless you hear otherwise. Okay. We're a bit large of a group, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure we'll be uh, set up well for a large, large group, but we'll see how the board meetings go. So assume virtual, and uh, if we can meet in person, we'll for sure let you know. Okay. Is there anything that I've missed or need to discuss? Seeing none, I'm going to look for a motion for adjournment. Michelle? Bill, so moved. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Bill. And have a good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Jeff. You. Thanks, Rhonda. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.